This is Join Us in France, episode 309. Bonjour, I'm Annie Sargent, and today Elise and I have some fun with the French language. I asked the Facebook group what are the hardest words to pronounce in French, and you delivered some funny ones. <laughs> We also talk about some favorite words in French because they sound so dreamy. And I took the liberty to add some silly French insults and sayings to the list. Nothing crude, but I don't talk like that. Not, other, not as a rule anyway. Um, but, you know, some funny, cute ones. If you're interested in the French language, you might want to check out episode 30 on survival French for those of you who are looking to master the basics and episode 161 for those of you who are more ambitious, where I give you the most important 50 phrases for hungry visitors who want to understand restaurant lingo. You'll see, learning French can be a lot of fun. Thank you, patrons, for giving me a precious gift, the time to produce this podcast. Your monthly gift makes it all possible. And in these times of what on earth is happening, <laughs> I can't tell you how much it means to me. A shout out to new patrons and more info on how to join all my wonderful patrons after my chat with Elise. But I've got to say how grateful I am that several of you took advantage of my Patreon special for the month of October. Those of you who shared a mailing address will get a letter from me soon. <laughs> The cookbook is proceeding as planned on track for an ebook release before the 15th of November. I am so looking forward to announcing that it's ready. Uh, I think uh, I'm so proud of it. I'm so tickled <laughs> that I did that. Show notes for this episode are on joinusinfrance.com forward slash 309, the numeral 309, and on your podcast app where you can see a list of the words that we're mentioning on today's episode that may be worth uh, looking at. Uh, every app does it a little bit differently. Some of them have a tab for notes. Some of them you have to swipe left or right to see the notes. Anyway, uh, yeah, you might want to see the list. The best way to stay in touch with me and with the podcast is to sign up for the newsletter at joinusinfrance.com forward slash newsletter. And I will definitely send out an email as soon as the cookbook is ready. Bonjour Elise. Bonjour Annie. We are recording on your terrace today. Yeah, for <laughs> once. I think we've only done this twice or three times yes, since the beginning. Yes. I came to her instead of her coming to me. Hey, the mountain went to Mohammed. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> right. But it's a beautiful sunny day, so we're sitting on your terrace and... Yep. And it's not hot, hot, but it's lovely. It's no, just it's right. I would guess it's in the late high 60s or just about seven, yeah. 70 degrees. Yeah, and it's late October, so we can't right. really, we can't complain. But it's gorgeous. The sun is out and the light is beautiful. It's really a beautiful yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. How's your Patreon going? My Patreon's going slow and steady like a snail. Well, there that's you okay. go. That's okay. That's, that's, that's how it always starts. That's how it starts. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to a new supporter, Celeste. Thank you so much for joining the group and for the nice comments you sent me. And um, a second hello to Becky and Rob, who just sent me back a message saying that they finally saw the message I sent them a, a while ago. So <laughs> hope you're fine out there. And thank you, everyone, uh, for your patronage and uh, keep it coming. Yep, please do. And to uh, to see Elise's Patreon, you go to patreon.com, P-A-T-R-E-O-N forward slash Elise Art. Elise Art. So E-L-Y-S-A-R-T. 
Right. And you'll go straight to her Patreon. Straight to my Patreon page. Okay. So today we have a fun topic. We're going to talk about, uh, we're going to try and have some fun with French words. Uh, (laughs) Out there, this means Annie is having fun making fun of me. This is why she wants us to do this today. Okay. I'm I'm game. I'm game. It's all right. We're just having fun. It's all right. You can pick at my English all you want. It's (laughs) fine. Okay. (laughs) Because, I'll find a way to get back at you. <laughs> because, you know, I mean, uh, it doesn't really matter if you have an accent because most English uh, native speakers have just cute accent in French. None of you talk in a way that we I, that I wouldn't qualify as just pleasant and just endearing, you know. Oh, that's so sweet of you. <laughs> Actually, that's what most people say about French accents. Uh, that's you know. true. And it is true that in my classes for teaching English, uh, which have mostly been uh, with French students, Mm -hmm. one of the things I do really insist on telling them is that an accent is fun. And the only problem is when it makes you not understand the word that people are trying to say. Exactly. If it's to the point where people can't understand you, then that's a problem. That's a problem. But if it's just that you say it your own way, hey, that's fun. Roll with it. It's okay. There's no need to be embarrassed or whatever. It it says, oh, yes, oh, you are from this country or that country. That's right. Anywho, but before we get to all this fun, I want to talk briefly about this uh, new lockdown that started uh, today, actually. Yeah, last night at midnight. Yeah, last night. <clears throat> uh, it's it's new. The numbers of n- new infections has skyrocketed. Skyrocketed. Uh, to around 50,000 per day, which means that in reality, it's probably twice that. Right. Because... You know, not everybody gets tested. And they do, I heard that they've been doing 1.9 million tests a week. A week. In France. So it's a lot of testing going on. That might be why the numbers appear so high, but testing doesn't make you sick. No, no, no. <laughs> you know, so I think what they're trying to do, I, I think... Aside from the fact that, obviously, the advantage of doing as much testing as possible, which is what they, I think, did in in Germany, is that you can see where the virus is clustering, is that uh, it also gives an idea of what percentage of people who test positive do not have symptoms. Right. And right. that, of course, is really the extremely important part because they are the ones who give it to other people. Yeah. 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 Yep, that's yeah. how it works. And and it is true that everyone, I think, including us, uh, were a little bit more reluctant to deal with a lockdown. But at the same time, it really is necessary. The predictions on the the programs that were where the experts, the medical experts, were talking the last couple of days, they were saying that we've we've gone into the second wave much more rapidly than it was expected. And that if we continue like this without bringing the numbers down, there will be no hospital beds left. And they're talking about horrendous numbers for people being sick and people dying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because the problem is France is a small country. We only have about 6,000 ICU beds right. all over the country, which seems like seems a, I mean, very it's a little to me. It's Well, it's a lot when it, normal circumstances. It's just that, yeah. uh, you know, for people who end up in ICU... You need to have ways to... And they put people in ICU that are not necessarily on a respirator. Right. Uh, I heard about somebody who he just needs oxygen, supplemental oxygen. Right. And so, so it's a CPAP or something. I'm not sure what they're using, but... They're trying to avoid the respirator, actually. I yeah. think they're trying to avoid that. But but uh, that, that's a question that, of course, is a little bit... Just a slightly tangential. I have no idea what normal... What a good proportion is. Uh, France has 60, 60, about 65 million people. 6,000 beds seems like not that much. Well, that's ICU beds. Right. It's right. It's, intensive it's not, care. Right. right. It's not uh, yeah. all the hospital beds. Right. I'm not but sure. Anyway, what, yeah. so, but anyway, so so here we are. We um, we are restricted. We uh, all the restaurants, all the bars, all restaurants and bars, all theaters. Um, yeah, all cultural activities are closed all of them, completely. Now they can continue to rehearse. So that me- what that means is that once we open up again, they they'll be ready right. to to put on whatever show that they're working on. So that's the biggest difference is that people can continue to work. Yeah, and schools are still open except for university. And exactly. Universities, but even there my daughter's at um a big um 
Te- it's an Aaron, te- technical yeah, university. technical university. Um, so I'm not sure if it's a private school. Inac, it's a public school. I'm not certain. It's under the. We auspices. don't pay for it. No, it's under the auspices of the Department of Defense, dear. Okay, all right. There yeah, you go. There you go. So um, she's at that school, which is not like last year. She was going to the main campus right. for the Toulouse University. This year, it's she's not, and they're making noises like they're gonna have them come in um, because they might get an exception because they train a lot of pilots, right? And so they need access to equipment uh, that they can't have at home. And of course, she's not training to be a pilot. She's doing uh, a master's in computer science. But everything she does is pretty much in a group as a lab. Yeah. You know, they're working like a tiny company. Right. And so I don't know. I don't yeah. know what they're going to do. Well, I think we'll see. Uh, we'll see next week what happens with the, the uh, university level and the exceptions. Uh, I know that a uh, few schools, I just got an announcement from the art school that they are f- closed. Um, uh, the other schools, I don't know. We'll, we'll, right. we'll see. Right. But, but it is true that there's a little bit more open because they could not keep, uh, uh, primary school and secondary school children at home anymore. And people are allowed to go to work, uh, if they cannot work from home. Uh, but we're not allowed to go, uh, Anywhere other than what is essential, basically, right? You know, and and not go far from home, and not visit people, uh, right? So this weekend, I kind of took liberties. I came to Elise's house, even though it's further away than I should be. But that's because they said <laughs> this is funny. They said we could go to the cemetery because this is and I'm uh, dead. <laughs> So I was going to tell them I was going to go visit a friend at the cemetery, but she's actually quite alive. I'm quite alive. <laughs> but... Well, let's see if we can... Because, because yeah. visiting cemeteries is okay this yeah, weekend. True. No, and, and honestly, we are neither of us very abusive of this at all, but we have been seeing each other all through this whole thing, and so we, we, we're... We're part of the same pod. Yeah, uh, yeah, so. yeah. But I don't know how you convince the police of that if they ever stop us. So we'll, yeah. we'll see. Yeah, I'm taking my life into my own hands. She's taking her <laughs> life into her own hands. It's okay. Uh, so anyway, so there are restrictions, no restaurants. But, you know, it doesn't surprise me. They they had to close the restaurants and, and the, the bars, bars because in the cafes, obviously, yeah. because that's where it happens. The last few days, I drove past uh, L'Entrecote, the, yeah. the big restaurant, you know, that we've talked about and we've recommended on this show many times. It's lovely. It's a steak and fries type of place. Well, the so people are, there's always a line to right. go into L'Entrecote, right? But now that the line has to be spaced out, it's like ginormous. Right. So you have this line around several blocks and everybody's spaced out and they all wear ma- masks when they're waiting outside and then they go into the restaurant to be seated and they all remove their masks. And it's and it's not... Uh, and what do you think happens? And they, they're all next to each other. Yeah. yeah. But it is, it's the bars. Uh, it is true that the bars and cafes, probably even more in general than the restaurants, are sources of uh, people kind of really clustering together. Yeah. And, and this time, sadly, because it is a fact, it's a lot of the younger people who have been doing it. And of course, what happens is they bring it home and then they're not necessarily yeah. the ones who get sick. It's their elders who do get sick. Uh, there's a very good ad on the French television. I don't know if you saw it, Annie. No. Uh, it's very good. It shows a, a young woman going to work um, and giving somebody a bees, you know, the French bees. Yes. And then uh, uh, her brother, who's in the university, doing the same thing to somebody else. And then they go home to a birthday party for their grandmother. And everybody gives her a hug. And the next thing you know, she's in the hospital. Yeah. 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 So so this was necessary. And the, the goal, the stated goal is so that we can have Christmas all together. Exactly. That it's safe enough that the numbers are low enough that we can all have Christmas. Which so is hopefully- basically what they're saying is this, really make sure that if there's no... Honestly... Uh, one of the things they said last night, which really makes this quite serious, is that if it reaches the point when there are no more free beds, they're going to have to start uh, choosing who gets into ICU. Yeah, yeah. It's as simple as that. Yeah, yeah. You know? And I have this this friend of mine who's doing chemo treatment, and hers are not getting 
uh, rescheduled, but, you know, she's seeing her surgeon next week to discuss surgery after chemo. And it's possible he'll just say, well, you know, he's po- maybe a few months ago last year, he might have said, yeah, let's go ahead and operate. And this year he's like, well, we'll take chances with not. I don't know. I we don't, don't know. know. But yeah. I don't know. The, the, the other thing is, is that it's not just France. All of Europe is really yeah. in the same situation right now. And so there is no saying, why didn't you do this? Or why didn't you do that? I mean, between Germany, Italy, Spain, and France, there have been England somewhat too. different conditions. And England. We're, we're um, worse in France, though. And it might be because we're not disciplined. Except that it's interestingly enough, uh, Spain, which you'd think would be less disciplined, they were more disciplined than we. Well, they were hit harder the first and round. They, and they're still coming back to a bad second wave. Yeah. You know? Anyway, yeah. Yeah. this is it. And hopefully, all I can say is it would be nice if we have to submit to this confinement with some sun out. Well, right now, today we're good. Yeah. <laughs> today we're good. <laughs> Not gray skies. That's so okay. So, so for, for this episode, I got my inspiration from the Facebook group. I asked what were words that are difficult for you to say. And I got quite the list. <laughs> you guys always deliver when I ask questions like this. And there was a language nerd um, that saw this thing going around. It said, uh, in Spanish, the H is silent. In English, many letters can be silent. In French, all letters are meaningless. <laughs> Even li- every living thing is born without a oh reason. My good- <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if that's, that's a little bit extreme somehow. <laughs> it's a joke. It's, it's a, a joke. joke. All joke. letters are meaningless. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. there's a bunch of words that are difficult to say in French. And like I said at the beginning, it doesn't matter if you can say them or not. You can practice if you wish and, uh, you know, have fun with it. Well, uh, j- just quickly glancing uh, this list, which is enormous. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe what you printed out. Uh, I don't know if you even are aware of it. But in, just in terms of the words, not the little phrases here, that's another part, but an enormous number of them are uh, words that have that horrible E-U-I. Yes. Uh, that is really the <laughs> hardest. I- I'll tell you what my hardest ones is. Uh, is, is my hardest ones are uh, after we go through this. Um, okay. I, I okay. have my own bête noire in that's French. That's a bête noire. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay, so let's get started. You want me to read it or you want to say it? Oh, it's fine. Écureuil. 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 Yeah, this one seems to be difficult for most people. I don't but- know why. I, you know, I mean, I... Because it has the oeil, it said roi, roi. I don't know. It's hard. Now, it is a fact that I studied French in school, okay? I studied French in high school. Starting at what age? I started in uh, eighth grade. Okay, so you were like 13, 14? Yeah, yeah. right. Um, and in college, I did a French minor, but it was literary. So I didn't really uh-huh. speak anything. Yeah. I mean, I really hardly spoke at French at all in high, in college, but I... so, But but I, I I've known from forever that this is a word that is considered to be one of the most difficult to say, but it's never been the word that I found difficult to say. <laughs> I, maybe my mouth is different from everybody else's. You're okay with écureuil. No, no, no. I, but the, uh, the thing is, it's also a difficult word for French people in English because most French people have a hard time saying squirrel. Oh, they do. And I have to think about it when do I say you? squirrel. What, it, what, what, what makes it hard? The squirrel. The squirrel. The squirrel. The squirrel. The squirrel. Yeah, oh. yeah. Well, the... So. the uh, the R in English is hard. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's a kind of yeah. <laughs> where is it out there? It's on the planet Mars. Okay. So then the second one is interesting because it makes everybody laugh. Uh, yeah. I you know I never even thought about it. Oh God! <laughs> where are, what planet do I live on? Okay. You have to say it. They can't see it. <laughs> ah, all right. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, fuck. Uh, uh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the the it, that's a seal, by the way, seal. in French. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, uh, fuck. But it's slightly more o. Uh, uh, fuck. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's not. It's just because it's close. It it's makes close. People, it makes American teenagers <laughs> giggle. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Next one. Ah, I, I. That's L- like I. It's like somebody's pinching you. Yes. Right? So there you I, go. I, I love I. I, I love. <laughs> yeah. But I That's don't. Garlic, right? I don't like. Yeah, it's garlic. But never mind asking me how how to say it when it's more than one. I have not. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. So that's funny because it, it, that's a complicated plural that I would bet most French people don't even know. C'est un ail et des os. Des os? Des os. A-U-L. 
X. But so you don't pronounce A-U-L-X. the L. You don't pronounce no. the L. The zoo. But, but, uh. if you're talking about uh, the botanical, the, okay, so les zoo is the plural of garlic when you're talking about uh, seasoning in the kitchen. Okay. But when you're talking about the plant, then it's les ailles. With an S, which you don't pronounce. Ay, 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 Please, give me garlic any time. <laughs> That's right, garlic is easy. <laughs> garlic is better, right? <laughs> Next one. Ah, the the difference between Mediterranean and Mediterranean. Mediterranean. No, c'est pas la difference. It's not the difference, it's just both of these words. Mediterranean, Mediterranean. Yeah. Because it's terre, terre. It's that R, you know, terre. Uh, it's, it's the R. I was thinking it was the uh, the the last part. There. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Mediterranean. <laughs> Mediterranean. Yeah. Okay, then there's a bunch of proper names that seem to be giving people trouble, like the next one. Okay, I think there's a misspelling on this with Diderot. Diderot? I, th- I think there's an I. I think. I'm not it, sure. Where? Reuilly. Ah, Reuilly, Diderot, maybe. Yeah. I didn't I didn't check it. I think. I'm not sure. Okay, okay. okay. Reuilly, Diderot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, it's called... When I was in French, I... Yeah, I don't that, know. That, that, that's, I, should, I should have removed that. It was. <laughs> when I was in French, in French 1, somebody one. was talking about go, being in French 1, 1 and that they had a hard time with the word Foca. Oh. Oh, that, that that was a stray. I should have removed that. But the, the but the U there that is a that's hard. When I get tired, I I can tell that I don't want to say it. <laughs> you know, it's like then I go into R O U. I mean, I can tell. You know, it's uh-huh. like there's a rue and then there's rue. Oui. And 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 when, yeah. yeah, and when when rue, my mouth yeah. is tired, I gotta go. Never mind. You know. <laughs> and you've been at this for how long? Thirty uh, years. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, a long time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it's interesting because there are certain sounds that, like you said about squirrel, that I guess never stop being a little bit difficult. Yeah. You know, to yeah. pronounce. Yeah. Reims. Okay, Reims. I, I, I don't know why it's pronounced that way. I mean, yeah. it would be nice to know why. Reims. And it, for once, the S is pronounced and the M is kind of, eh, eh. it's like, eh, Reims, eh. Reims, it's yeah. like pinching your nose and, yeah, and saying it. That's the city. Or the other one, Rouen. Rouen. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a problem for people, but. Well, it's because you, ha- you have to realize it's two syllables. And it's ou en, ou yeah, en, ou en. Which are not sounds that no. you do in English. No. So it's two unknown sounds, but exactly. Rouen. Because it's two vowels it. together like that. That's very unusual in yeah, English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other city that's a problem for most Americans is Caen. I hate it. Caen. I hate that city. <laughs> Can't pronounce it. Hate it. But c'est facile. C'est, it's, comme quand, like when. Okay. It's like Q U A N D. So why is it quand? 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 That's it. Quand? <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. It's very easy. Okay. The word accueil. Mais accueil is in the same family as écureuil. It's just, that's sorry. Yeah. It's the, and for me, that one, it's the spelling that gets me. Ah, the two when C's? I'm, no, it's the um, the U E I. Ah. I always want to do E U I. Ah, so <laughs> that's but that's a French thing. That's for French speakers. We have that. A lot of us have that problem in. Speaking well, it's French. like the next one, feuille, feuille, you know, feuille. Yeah. Yes, right, exactly. See, accueil, you have the E right before right. the I, and feuille, you have the E after the U. So it's it's just confusing. That's true. For my French brain. That's true. Yeah. Bourgogne. Bourgogne. That's a wine, right? It might be a wine or a town or something. I think it's a wine. Yeah. I think it's a wine. And, and there, what I'm surprised at is that it only has one L. Bourgogne? It, but, yeah, because, well, that's the thing. It's like feuille, accueil. Mm, the L's bother me always in French. Oh, yeah? I, yeah, I never know when it's to pronounce. You have to pronounce it and when you... Yeah. Go, yeah, never mind, go away, L. Yeah. Like, okay. Le roi, le roi. Le roi. C'est facile, ça. That's an easy one, le roi. Uh, if, you man- if you don't do roi, roi, you have to do a French R. Yeah, you do. Because if you do an American R... Le uh, roi, le roi, 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 ro
Roi. Roi, yes. 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 Montreuil. Montreuil. That's it's, another like, town. it's like the others. Yeah, Montreuil, uh, Bourgueil, same right. thing. Serge. Serge? Serge. Why I think it's uh, Serge. I don't know why. Serge. It's a name. You say so fast, you don't have to spend that much time on the R. That's you right. Know, it's you like said you, Serge. You know. Serge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the French art comes natural to you now. You say it fine. You say it well. Is that also the word for a kind of cloth? J'en sais rien. I don't know. I think there is. I have Maybe. to look it up. Yeah, I, know I think about cloth. It's, in English it's pronounced Serge. No, that can't be. Right. I'm going to look that up. Yeah, I, don't I, don't know. Know. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. Americaine. Americaine. Je suis Americaine. Is that hard for you to say? American? No. 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 American. No, it's American, American. But it's people have to get used to the difference between the two. Because maybe, maybe. Masculine and feminine. American, Sometimes American. I, I understand that it can be difficult because there are certain words like that where I know that there's a somewhat different pronunciation because of the feminine, masculine. It really depends on whether I'm feeling lazy or not. <laughs> Oh, the next one you have to read. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate this one, too. Serrurier. Yes, serrurier. But you look at how long it took me to get it out of my mouth. Serrurier, 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 serrurier. That's a, a locksmith. Yeah, it's a locksmith, yes. <laughs> next one. Uh, grenouille. C'est pas grenouille, c'est grenouille. Gre. Grenouille. Grenouille. Oui, c'est une grenouille. Ah, au lieu de grès. J'ai dit, oui. what happened? T'as dit grenouille. C'est grenouille. grenouille. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. And then the cœur, sœur. Cœur, sœur. Yeah, you said really well. Cœur, sœur. I guess, uh, maybe it's the spelling that throws people off on I that one. I think that might be. That might be. And the ur at the end. Ur, ur, ur. Cœur, sœur. But, but, you know, those, yeah, I bet that that's the spelling. Because, you know, in the Middle Ages, the O and the E were attached to each other. Yeah. It was a separate vowel, actually. And yeah. It was a, it was vowel. Yeah. Okay. Uh, chirurgien. Uh, that is hard. Ah, ouais? Uh, that is hard. Chirurgien. Chirurgien. I skip the R, and I know I'm skipping that R. Yeah. Uh, uh, because in English, you don't have that second R. See? So, if you say... Surgery. Surgery. It's not a surgeon. It's not a sur, a sur, <laughs> sur, stir, sh, surgeon. I don't know why. Chirurgien. Chirurgien. No, it's not the chirurgien. Chirurgien is not difficult. It's chirurgie that's difficult. Chirurgie. Chirurgie. Yeah. More than the person. Uh, ch le chirurgien est en chirurgie. Yeah. C'est vrai que là, c'est dur. Hein? Le chirurgien est en chirurgie. Yeah. I, I would say, have a headache if difficult. I did yeah, have yeah. to say that three Et times. Et la chirurgienne est en chirurgie. Yeah. La chirurgienne. But you see, do we say that because we don't say doctoress, do we? Ah oui, mais chirurgienne, ça existe. Ah, it c'est pas, c'est pas sûr. It's weird. Why do we we put in feminine? Eh, because it's, it's, I don't know. I don't know. It's like know. why, why? Okay, why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, a clan d'oeil. Uh. Un clan d'oeil. I like that. You a like that one? I love it. I love an it. Un clan d'oeil. Yeah, yeah, those are easy, I think. Un clan d'oeil. But it's the same. It's that O. E I that you know it's like we've had a whole bunch of them it's like that ay 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 okay next one is Clignancourt yeah Clignancourt is a bit difficult is it Clignancourt Clignancourt you say well yeah yeah it's but it, it it's I yeah but it's not easy but it's not easy no. yeah okay okay and pourquoi aéroport 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 ah mais aéroport. ça non je fais air je fais pas air aéroport tu fais deux syllabes Et là oui 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 ah, c'est pas aéroport c'est aéroport ah, moi non jamais ah bah alors euh, voilà voilà euh, ton problème ah, non, il est là ton problème c'est pour ça que tu te perds partout <rire> 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 si tu demandes d'aller à l'aéroport, euh, les gens ne savent pas ce que c'est l'aéroport. Ils savent que c'est l'aéroport. L'aéroport. <rire> oui. Ok. Le trottoir. Le trottoir. Trottoir, trotté, trottinette. What does, uh, uh, en fait, uh, c'est trot, isn't it? Yes, it's yes, yes, yes. C'est le même as trot. It's where you trot or walk. Right. Yeah. But yeah, uh, it's, trottoir, it's, trottinette. It's interesting. Uh, trotter, uh, I understand as a verb, but I never realized, I never really thought about it that trottoir, which is sidewalk in English, yeah. uh, is from the verb to trot. Yeah, c'est pareil. Yeah. pareil. Mm. Heureux. Bah, heureux. Heureux, heureuse. Ouais. C'est pas difficile. Non. Non, mais non. bon. Euh, euh, euh. Heureux, heureux. 
Non, mais non, mais... Fauteuil. 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 Franchement, c'est facile. Fauteuil. Uh, that, Fauteuil. I, I think that if, if, so, if some people out there are trying to learn some of this, this and they're doing it, I don't know if they're doing it on their own, but I... Can I just make a comment as a teacher? This is one of those horrible co things, you know. I've been a yeah. teacher too long. I think that because I've had years of uh, trying to teach people uh, English, um, one of the things that's useful and it may be difficult to do if you certainly if you're doing it on your own or if you're doing it off an app on the computer, but it's really useful to have somebody show you yes. how to move your mouth and yes. where to place the parts of your mouth to yes. make the sounds because yes. sometimes that really helps make a difference in being able yes. to make those pronunciations. Yes, people people ask often on the group, you know, how can I learn French and uh, my response is almost always find a tutor. A, a real tutor. Find yeah. a person yeah. because you will make way way faster progress with a person than you will with any app Absolutely. you know apps are fine there's nothing wrong with using them but they don't lead you to proficiency no the same way no working with a tutor because a tutor will figure out what your achilles heel is right <laughs> right exactly and and it really makes a difference i mean i know that from trying to get people to to say certain sounds in english They, they think it's funny, but if you really show them that there is yeah. a, really an, 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 an analysis of where and what you do in your mouth, right. it right. does help, you know. Yes. So. Yeah, like uh, the aspirated H I in, hate it. for, That's for okay. French people speaking English, the, the hat. So I show them, put your, put your hand in front of your mouth. When you say hat, you feel some air. But when you say... There's other words. I can't think of one right now. But there's other words where there's an H, but you don't feel any air. The, uh, the, for me, it's the opposite. It's the H in French that I hate. I hate when you don't pronounce the H in French. <laughs> I hate it. And those are, for me, the hardest things to pronounce. Oh, yeah? Oh, I hate it. Oh, oh les haricots. I hate it. Ah, oui, tu veux dire les haricots? It's it extremely difficult when when you have, uh, uh, as a native language, English, there's a, it's kind of like what's called in linguistics, a guttle stop. Yeah. Uh, the idea of having to do les and then make a stop and then haricots, it's very unnatural. Ah. It's, it's very unnatural. And so uh, uh, I... Actually, resist, even though it means people <laughs> hate me for it. But, you know, it's like, I am sorry. It's, I'll say, les I, I, I It's very strange. Yeah. It's like, it's really, and, and I recently was, uh, because of a word, somebody asked me, uh, one a student asked me about a word in English with a, with a combination of letters. Uh, it was an interesting question. Nobody had ever asked me a question like that. I went online and did some research. And there's a term for it, which of course now I've forgotten. But every language has sound or letter combinations that are impossible to say because of the structure of that language. And so uh, I, I think the problem for uh, English speakers doing that non-liaison between the yeah. thing with, is, is that. It's just not natural In But the, even French people want to do the liaison there. They have to be corrected. And actually, is it's right? actually now it's accepted to say les haricots. Is it really? Yes. It's, it's in the dictionary. I have to tell my husband. That. You can say it both ways. But uh, yeah, people who were raised from my generation or older, we were raised to say les haricots. So yeah. there you go. <laughs> and, it's, and it's not hard for you to say. No. No, mm. I got used to it, of course. Got, you get used to anything. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. The next word, is it hard for you to say? Uh, yaourt. Yaourt. Yeah, I don't say, I say, I don't say yaourt, I say yaourt. Ah, well, no, c'est du yaourt, yaourt. Yeah, it yeah. sounds to me like a yurt, you know, the Mongolian uh, No, tent, it's not you know? a yurt yeah. either. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, it's yogurt. I mean, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah yaourt, like, well. yaourt. Next word? Rue. Rue. I want to... But that, I know, lots and lots and lots of English speakers can't do that you. It's, yeah, so it, they will say rue, the rue. Say, right. Yeah, la rue, la rue. Which is the wheel. Yeah. Which is the wheel. Yeah. Yeah, la rue is autre chose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> la rue is autre chose. It's torture. Vitre. Vitre. Why would that be vitre. difficult? If it's by itself, it's not difficult. Une huitre. Ouais. What, what about many? Des huitres. 
There you make a movie song. Oui. Why? Eh parce que, parce que, I don't know. I don't, don't ask me hard questions. I just know we do. I don't so know why. There I'm allowed to do it, but I'm not allowed oui. to do it with haricots. Voilà. C'est des haricots, mais des huîtres. Now that really doesn't make any sense. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It oh doesn't. my God. I admit, it doesn't. All right. I'll walk around saying les huîtres instead of saying les haricots. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you can ask your husband if, he, if it makes him mad yes. when you say les huîtres. He's going to say, no, that's normal. Yeah, because he corrects all my French anyway. I'm like, oh, there you go. All right. Oh, the, the next one. Okay. Yeah. So how would you say that? Ah, um, that that's interesting. Okay. Uh, sh I'm not sure. Um The, the 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 second part obviously I know how to say yeah um, I'm not sure ruelle malmaison c'est ruelle c'est ruelle ah ouais ruelle ruelle and I've heard people from there say it so I know really? it's, that's how they say it ruelle malmaison well then I would never have guessed it from yeah the spell. and you wouldn't know how to spell it if you just hear no it. You, you that's just, weird yeah ruelle malmaison yeah. That's how you say it. But wow. that's, a, that's a proper name and it probably won't come up very much in conversation. No. Mm, I would guess. Uh, au revoir. But au revoir. Au revoir. C'est pas difficile. Au revoir. Facile. Au revoir. Yeah. As easy as. Goodbye. Au revoir. Saucisse. 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 Uh, that's really easy. Saucisse. Uh, oui, oui. C'est facile. Ouais. Uh, ah, restaurant. Apparemment, uh, apparently it's the R. That's difficult. Restaurant. The... Restaurant. Uh, restaurant, restaurant. What, what makes it hard? I'm uh, the sure. R, the R. The person was saying uh, it's the R. Uh, same with Rennes, Rennes, Rennes. Yeah, the city, Rennes. Yeah. If you can do a French R, you can do Rennes. It's easy. Bouillabaisse. Ah, bouillabaisse. Boula be la bouillabaisse. La bouillabaisse. This one, I'm sure it, that's a dish, right? It's a yeah. dish from uh, Mar uh, Marseille. Marseille. It's and a fish too. Yeah, and I think the problem here is the the spelling. Bouillabaisse uh, is a Bouille. bit. But it's it, that is um, the, the that O U I L L. Um, yeah. You have to really learn th how to pronounce that, and then once you do, it's in a bunch of words. You yeah, know? yeah. But it is a kind of strange thing to realize. You see all those letters, and it goes bouille. Yeah, no, yeah it does. Uh, That's what it does. Like that. You yeah. Know? Monsieur. Mais monsieur? Monsieur. And maybe it's because it's spelled differently because it's monsieur. Ah. You know, monsieur. But it's monsieur, monsieur. You don't say it like you see it. It's it's French, you know. No, no, no but in the case of that word, in the case of the word monsieur, that is, excuse me for doing something very technical, but it is actually what is an example of called erosion in pronunciation. That is probably in the Middle Ages. Oh, they said monsieur. Yes, yes. exactly. Yes, yes, yes. And what happens is, and I love to say this because it is a fact. It, uh, I like it because it's such an unscientific idea, but it is apparently valid, is that the mouth is lazy. And so <laughs> sounds evolve to make it easier for to the say. mouth to say. Yeah, yeah. So monsieur becomes monsieur. C'était monsieur. Monsieur, Monsieur, because it was my, it yeah. was my, my lord, sire, my, my, my lord. sire. Yes, right? yes, yeah. yes, yes. Montorgueil. Montorgueil, yes. Yeah. 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 My, my, uh, It's my, a proper I, name. I have a brother-in-law who used to live right there. Montorgueil. Yeah, Montorgueil, yeah. A millefeuille. Ah, a millefeuille. It's a cake. Yeah. What do we call that in English? It's a Napoleon. It's Why a do Napoleon. we call that a Napoleon? I don't know. Don't ask millefeuille. Me. Millefeuille. A thousand and, leaves. And a thousand leaves, right. Yes. Ratatouille. Ratatouille. That's easy to say. I mean, uh, but they, they, Americans might say ratatouille. 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 Or I ratatouille. Know. I don't know. How could they it's say it wrong? Let's but think. But the I L L E, you have to remember. Ouille. You Ouille. have to remember. Yeah. Ouille. It's, it's <laughs> voiture. Voiture. Easy. Yeah. Voiture. Facile. O. O. C'est carafe d'eau. O. It's like an O. It's like an O. Yeah. Like you, the circular it's thing. It's carafe d'eau. Carafe d'eau. I think that they're overthinking. I think the spelling is throwing people off because they think about how it's spelled. But French is just like English. It is not pronounced like it is no. written at no. all. But no. English is even worse. So don't get on my nerves about that. English. <laughs> no, the, the difference between the problems of Uh, uh, pronouncing words in French and in English in in relation to the way they're spelled is that in French there are z lots and lots of uh, silent letters right. that used to be pronounced and in English the 
inability to know how to pronounce a word is because their origins are from many different sources. Right. So you can have the same grouping of vowels and have three or four different pronunciations, right. which right. does not happen in Spanish or yeah. French. Can I I think there's an N missing. Oh, yes, yes, there is. There I is. have to tell you. Okay, can I tell a little story? About yes, this of word? course, of course. My first big trip uh, as a, it was back, basically started as a solo trip. I was very adventurous in my younger years, uh, traveling around France. Um, I was staying in uh, youth hostels and I would meet up with uh, some Americans and I would then do a st- uh, um, one st- step uh, of the trip with them. And I was in Brittany. And I met a young uh, woman, a little bit younger than me, who was an American, who was studying in France. And we spent two or three days together. And I did not know this word. And I didn't know what it was. And she <laughs> already spoke really, really good French. My French was school French, you know. <clears throat> and one day she had made friends with some guys. And we were driving around in a car. And uh, I listened to the, some of the conversation. And all of a sudden I heard one of them say, Cancaillerie. Uh, and the word, for some reason, I, I remember looking at her saying, what is that? What is that? I've never heard that word before. And she explained to me that it was a hardware store. Yeah. And I went, wow, I loved that word. You just love the I word. I just love the word. Isn't that silly? <laughs> and I've never forgotten it since then. I, love, I love the word. Ken well, yeah, There you yeah, are. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, this one, there's a mistake. Um, I didn't check the spelling. You know, I, I just uh, copy and paste from Facebook. We, we know how to pronounce it. That's the point. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Feuille. 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 Facile. Feuille. Out. Out. Le mois d'août. But the problem is that they want to say out. There's no... Well, the, pretend uh, the A isn't there. Say out. But, le mois d'août. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like... Uh, and then like a one you pronounce both syllables and the other one this you one don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. Okay. That's how it is. Mois d'août. Mouillé. 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 Ouais. Mouillé. C'est facile. Mouillé means wet. C'est mouillé. Un pneu. Un pneu. Pneu. Pneu isn't that hard. No, but you have to say the pneu. Yeah. So this one you say both words. I just told you. Out. You don't say the A. This one you say the first letter. So we're a bit. Weird, you know. Uh, there's uh, got to be a reason, but I don't know what it is. Uh, there are other words, the uh, pneumatique, which is the same origin oui, as pneu. I don't know how many words there are actually with pn. I don't think there are very many, are there? Mm-hmm. Pneumonia, pneumonia, yeah, pneumonia, oh. pneumonia, pneumonia. <clears throat> yeah, and in English, we you say pneumonia. Yeah, we un- we take away the p. Yeah, yeah, we take away the p. Ah, uh, that's why maybe. And 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 all of those words, uh, like psychology, we don't say the p. Yeah. And in uh, French, we do psy, right, uh, psychologue, exactly. uh, psychologie. They, they all come from Greek. Yes. And uh, that's an example of sounds that you can't or aren't, well, for whatever reason, didn't develop in English. Huh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Somebody says that it's hard for them to say tu, Yes. Tu, well, tu, it's, like tu. A, it's like the difference between rue and roux. Yeah. It's the same sound difference. Yes, yes. And it is hard. Yeah. It, it really is. It's like when French people try to do the and th. You know, yeah. uh, it, it really requires practice. Yeah, it, it, practice and, and if concentration. You look at, the you thing, thing is, if you look at somebody's mouth, when they say, Chew, you can see what the mouth does. It yeah. looks like it's eating a lemon. Yeah. So somebody said the word saper lipopette is hard what for them is to it? say. It's just kind of a, an exclamation of surprise. It's very old. Nobody talks like that I've anymore. never seen that word before. Saper lipopette. You will find it in like the old uh, cartoons or whatever. Really? Yeah. It's, it's, nobody lipopette. says that. Okay. <laughs> a saltembanque. Un saltembanque. Saltembanque. Alors, uh, do you even have a word like that? I think it's the same word. Oh, I well. think. I mean, I, you know, I may be wrong. Sometimes I don't remember anymore. Um, <laughs> I really don't know what's in English and what's in French. It, it, it's. Um, it's. I a, don't know how you'd say it in English. Salt well, and bank. Uh, it's a. I don't know. How do you explain what it is, though? It's somebody who like an itinerant salesperson. But it's somebody who, who artist who, who cheats also. It's it's somebody Probably. who does who does like like card tricks and uh, yeah, things maybe, like that. Maybe. You know, who who sleight of hand and and maybe. Uh, I think that's what it is. Yeah. Trompe l'oeil. Trompe l'oeil. You know uh, that word. Well, yeah, of course I know You've that used one. that word a lot. Yeah. That's an art word. That's an art word. Trompe l'oeil. Which means, and it's nice, it means fools the eye. Yes, it fools the eye. That's exactly what it does. That's exactly what it does. Yes, un ours. Un ours. Un ours. Un ours. Un ours. 
<rire> I think we're going to get wacky by then. This is like... <rire> du beurre. Hein. Du beurre. 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 Facile. Du beurre. Euh... Passe-moi le beurre. Les œufs. Les œufs. Oui, un œuf, des œufs. Un œuf, oui. des œufs. Alors, ça, c'est. I think that's confusing. Yeah. 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 yeah, the yeah. plural is very different. Because it's. Des... Mais c'est comme un œil des yeux. Yeah. Un œil des yeux. Un œuf des yeux. But oeufs. I think what's confusing is that it's the F that disappears. Yes. You know? Un œuf des, des œufs. Yeah. Ah oh, oui, des œufs. Yeah, right. F disappears. Right, right. the F. <laughs> I don't think like you that. Don't think I, like that. I, I just think it's the plural of eggs, and that's yeah. it. Well, be <laughs> because you don't have to think about it. No, way the other. no I don't have to think about it. Bouilloire. And bouilloire. Bouilloire. Right. That's, that's kind of funny. Les vœux. Les vœux. Vœux, mais meilleurs vœux, meilleurs vœux. Um, best wishes. Yes. Uh, et leur, et leur. Um, Is there a difference for you? Uh, oui, c'est leur chien. Leur chien. C'est leur non, non, non. In, in pronunciation. Oui, c'est leur chien. C'est l'heure de partir. Ah, so you really put more of an accent I, on the R. I add the uh, yes. You roll your. C'est l'heure de partir. C'est l'heure de, de partir. You could say it. You could slide it. C'est l'heure de partir. Yeah, that's probably But, what I do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when fine. you say it quickly, it right. ha you hardly notice it. Right, right. So somebody said that uh, what's hard for them to say is any French word that comes from English, mm -hmm. like hamburger. And um, what what other one is t-shirt? Oh, t-shirt, a t-shirt, a t-shirt. It's the same. T-shirt, t-shirt. Well, words like that, I make no attempt to say in oh, French. Oh, you don't? Oh no, never. <laughs> no, I mean I don't see what the point is. If I can say croissant in English and rendezvous in English, I might as well just keep my hamburger and you know in right. French. Right. You know, so but... so there's plenty of words like this. Hors d'œuvre. Yeah. So in English, what would you say? Hors d'œuvre. Uh, well. Do people really say it? I don't know. I, don't, yeah, I think they do, but... They do. There's hors d'oeuvre. Uh, a maître d' for a maître d'hôtel. Well, people say maître d'. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a colonel. A col uh, in English, it's a colonel. It's a colonel. It's spelled the same. It's spelled the same. Right. But it's, but you... So it's spelled colonel, colonel, but you say colonel. Yes, and that's... So for French people who read English, they're like, uh... That, now yeah, that's interesting. colonel here? No. Because in England, there are lots of names of places... And with it, that have nothing to do with the or French origins, where they they skip a, a syllable, and that's basically what you have with colonel. Yeah. That, in other words, they they skip the second syllable. So yeah, it's, and it's and it's same with lieutenant. 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 Well, it's a French word. You spell it lieutenant. Lieutenant. And it's pronounced lieutenant. And you say lieutenant. Yes. And in England, lieutenant with an F. Oh, that's really weird. <laughs> yeah. Or then you have city names like uh, Coeur d'Alene. Ah, uh, yeah. So I don't know how you say that in English. Uh, in well, Coeur d'Alene is is uh, Coeur d'Alene. Coeur d'Alene. Yeah, Coeur d'Alene. But okay. there are lots of places in in the states that are have French names. Des Moines is Des Moines. Des Moines. Yes. Yeah. I mean, these were yeah. Boise in Idaho was Boise. 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 So those yeah. were done named yeah. by by French hunters and right. trappers. Yeah. But whoever said this, I have the same pro problem because once. Uh, I don't like to eat at McDonald's, but my husband likes it better than I do. And once they were doing a special called Southern Chicken Cajun. And I was driving the car and all three of us wanted the chicken, uh, Cajun, Southern Kitchen Cajun. Or maybe it was Cajun, Cajun Chicken Whatever. Southern. Right. I, I can't remember what order it was in. But when I tried to say that... I could not make myself say it the French way. The French way. And my husband, who's the American, says, he leans over and he says, Suzanne Chicken Cajun. <laughs> and they got it and they got immediately. It right away. <laughs> so it, it works both ways. We massacre each other's language very happily. <laughs> yes, very, very happily. Well, you know, it's also true. I can't think of an example of top of my head. There are words that have been taken into the language. Uh, at this point, it's mostly English words going into French yeah. that have, that wind up being pronounced in a weird way. You yes. Know? And you yes. just kind of can't guess what yes, that is. Yes, yes. You know? And then you have, the, somebody said anything with an R in it. Um, so if words like uh, artiste, train, rentré, Where are you? pur, puré, the next page at the top. Arrêt, train, pupitre, sucre, racine, mère, père, sœur, radis, ravi, ronronné, la gare, grand, 
rareté, fringue des fringues. Do you, do you don't have that page? Oh, maybe, maybe I missed, made a mistake in the, in the printing. It's possible. Anyway, um, there's a bunch of uh, things. And then we have some silent R's, comme aller. It's A-L-L-E-R. Yeah. But, the, aller. but that's the de- infinitive of the infinitive, verb. Infinitive, yeah. Um, uh, manger, boulanger, papier. This, the R at the, the end E-R, is silent. The E-R is yeah, silent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless uh, it has an E after it. And then you have the double R. J'arrive. Terrible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. Uh, but uh, double R or single R is said pretty much the same thing. Unless you want to exaggerate. Le terrible. Yeah. Comme à uh, Brunichel. À Brunichel. Uh, there's, there's something, Jacques, le terrible. Right. right. And you're supposed to write it with 19 R's. If you want to make sure you sound French, you do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was a um, uh, um, bunch of people that people liked to say. And I'm just going to say them quickly because we've talked a long time. Pomplemousse mm. seems to be a word. Oh, oh, I didn't get to, I didn't get to hear the words that are, that are hard for you. Well, it was, it was the things with the H. Okay, I, I, okay. Those are the, uh, really, yeah, okay. really horrible. Yeah, we're I, into I that. hate them. Pomplemousse, I love that word. You like that word? I love that yeah, word. I, I think it's such a cute word. Un parapluie? Parapluie. Donc, donc, bon, ben, n'importe quoi. <rire> c'est n'importe, n'importe quoi. quoi. Euh, Et c'est n'importe c'est quoi. C'est n'importe quoi. C'est n'importe, enfin, quoi. c'est n'importe quoi. Tout est n'importe quoi. On dit tout et n'importe quoi. Euh, oh la vache. La vache. Oh, oh. How do <rire> you translate that? Holy cow. Holy cow. Holy cow. Mm-hmm. Oh la vache. Ah. Euh, on ne sait jamais. On ne sait jamais. On ne sait jamais. Ah. C'est la vie. Ouais. C'est the old folks. Supposed to show you never can tell. I love that song. Uh, quand même, quand même, quand même, quoi, quand même. Ah, the quoi, quoi. No, I don't know the quoi. Yeah, no, no, it's this. that's southern. Quand même, quoi, il faut réfléchir avant de parler. Uh, quand même, yeah. Mais de quoi, you can say. Uh, somebody says they like to say Saint Nicolas de Bourgueil. Pourquoi? Well, whatever, I don't know. Saint Nicolas de Bourgueil, uh, they like it, and that's good. Tant pis, tant, tant pis. pis. Ah, oui, tant pis. Ça suffit, ça suffit, ça suffit. Oh, ça suffit. Crépuscule. Crépuscule. It's a very pretty word. It's a pretty word. It's yeah. a very pretty word. I don't know if it's dawn or dusk. Uh, dusk. It's dusk. Dusk. Okay. Uh, <laughs> faire du lèche vitrine. Ah, faire de lèche vitrine. Lécher les vitrines. So I this love person that wrote image. lécher les vitrines. We would never say no. lécher les vitrines. We said faire du lèche yeah, vitrine. Yeah, because lécher les vitrines really means doing that, exactly, which is yeah. licking the glass on the <laughs> yeah, storefronts. No. no. Not recommended. Uh, à tes souhaits. À tes souhaits. That's a harder one to say. À tes souhaits. À tes souhaits. Sway. At this way. That sway. means, uh, what? How do you say that in English? To, uh, to your health? No. no. When somebody sneezes, you say. Ah, ha- um, uh, God bless you. Bless you, bless you. Bless That's you. right, bless you. Yes. Uh, uh, somebody says they like to say truc ou machin. Truc ou machin. Un truc ou machin, un bidule yeah. truc chouette. Yeah. yeah. Un bidule truc chouette. <laughs> If you say it too often, it gets annoying because it's like, be precise. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like the, the words we slip into anything. Exactly. It means anything, yeah. Uh, quand même, quand même. Quand même. Tu aurais pu réfléchir. Hein. Quoi de neuf? Quoi de neuf, docteur? What's new? Quoi de neuf? Oui, Pussycat. oui, oui, oui. Bon, oui, oui, c'est pas très intéressant. Comme si, comme ça. Comme si, comme ça. Comme, comment ça va? Comme si, comme ça. Voilà. Uh, inoubliable. Inoubliable. C'est inoubliable. Inoubliable. Magnifique, inoubliable. Oh, ça va, ça va. Yeah. Stop <laughs> complaining already. Ça, right. va, ça, ça va, ça va, ça va. Malgré. Malgré. They like that word, okay. Ça ne fait rien. Oui. C'est quoi ça? <laughs> c'est quoi, quoi ça? ça? ça c'est, that's one of the first things you, you, you learn to say when you go into a store. Yeah, the first c'est time. quoi ça? C'est quoi ça? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Un fauteuil. Ah, oh, somebody said it was hard and now somebody says it's a favorite language, the favorite word. Pantoufle. Pantoufle. Like pantoufle. Well, those are slippers. For your, for your feet. And what's the difference between a pantoufle and a chausson? I don't know. Are they, it's the two same. words. For me, it's the same. But there's, the there's got to be some difference, but the, I don't know what They it are is. pretty much the same thing. Though. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Stuff you put on... On your feet when you yeah. get in the house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Allons à la plage. Allons à la plage. Allons à la plage. Allons à la plage. Comment dites-vous? Comment dites-vous? Oui. Oh, oh, somebody wrote Cocolico. But actually, it's coquelico. coquelico. They had misspelt it. In that and what one. is a coquelico? A coquelico is a... Is poppy. A, a poppy. It's that red, poppy. beautiful red flower. On verra bien. Oui. Empana. <laughs> Quelqu'un likes to say empana. Uh, well, they were saying it's important for... You don't have that, word, that list either? 
Yeah, I do. Okay. En panne, uh, it's important because uh, like if you go pay for something and the machine is en panne, yes. it means out of order. It's one of the few things where French is shorter than from English. Ha <laughs> ha. That's true. Yeah. Je m'en fiche. Ah, je m'en fiche. Je m'en fiche complet. Voilà. <laughs> Actually, long ago, we would have said, je m'en fiche complètement. Ah oui. Mais aujourd'hui, on dit, je m'en fiche complet. Ah, j'ai jamais entendu le complet. Ah, euh, je dis juste, je, je, je m'en fiche. Dit, on hein. dit, oh. oui, oui. Comme c'est curieux. Comme c'est bizarre. Comme c'est bizarre. Quelle coïncidence. Mm -hmm. Very literary. Mm. Yes. Euh, L'horloge. 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 That's the clock. Ce n'est pas possible. No, ce non, ce n'est pas possible. Ce n'est pas possible. C'est la vie, c'est la guerre. Eh oui. Nobody says that, but I have heard Americans say that that was a French saying. It is not. We don't say that. We haven't said that in a long time. So you mean the two of them together? Oui, c'est la vie, c'est la guerre. It's supposed to mean something uh. specific. We don't say that. That's that's what Americans think. We oh, French people okay. say. Je vous en prie. Je vous en prie. Je vous en prie, madame. Après vous. Euh, ça va. Ça va. Ça va. Ça va. Mm -hmm. Je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas. Non. Tu sais pas. Moi, il y a beaucoup de choses que non, je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas. Parlez-vous anglais Non. Oui. <laughs> oui. Sometimes. Vous, vous parlez anglais It's the same. People ask me, is this, is this different Is one right, one no. Same. Do you say what you want Merci beaucoup. Quel fromage. Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire, quel fromage Je ne sais pas du tout. Je... I don't know. That's weird. Quel fromage. On peut dire quel dommage. Hein? Mais quel fromage. I don't know. I thought it was funny. That's what I put in there. Oh, and the next one is weird too. La plume de ma tante. Ah, you don't know that. No, I don't. La plume de ma tante <laughs> est sur la table de mon oncle. It's what? the first phrase in books in the old time that teach French. Oh, mais pourquoi on te dit la plume de ma tante Because of the vowel plume. sounds. Oh. La plume de ma tante. Oh. Voilà. Ok, well, la see, plume I, de ma tante. You could say that to me. De mon oncle. Right. If she said that to me, I would be like, ok, what's wrong with this But there must be an equivalent in a book about teaching English. It's yes. Like, yeah. um, uh, oh. What was the first thing I learned in English Hello, Brian. Hello, Brian. Uh, and then there was a uh, Mrs. Jean. And this is so-and-so. I mm. can't remember. I didn't memorize it well enough. Okay. Uh, <laughs> C'est chouette. C'est chouette. J'ai la pêche. <laughs> J'ai la pêche. Do you want to explain what that means? I feel good. I feel good. I yeah. feel good. I have the peach. If you have the peach, you're <laughs> feeling good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if, you, if it's howl and you have the peach, things are good. If you're what? If you're howl. If you're an owl. No, howl, sorry. Not, yes. No H. Oh, God. The bird has no H. So it's owl. I have the peach. Yes. C'est chouette, j'ai la pêche. Aïe, aïe, aïe. But we do say that. That's you know, true, but I never thought about it. Not yeah. like that. C'est chouette, c'est yeah. chouette. Regarde comme elle est tombée, cette belle neige. Uh, okay. That's got to be a literary yeah. thing because, I, I mean... It doesn't rain here. It doesn't snow here anyway, <laughs> so we don't care. S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît. Très bien. Oui. Encore sa perle hippopette. Sa okay. perle hippopette, which we don't say. No. Libellule. Libellule. Ça, isn't, it, isn't that pretty? Je I love it. Tu me manques beaucoup. Tu me manques oh, beaucoup. Oh, that's somebody's boyfriend. They were writing to a boyfriend. Au contraire. Au contraire. Au contraire. Oh, non, j'en ai ras le bol. Ras eh le oui. bol. Eh oui. There's many variations. On... <laughs> I'm fed <laughs> up. Yes, yes. I've had enough. Yeah, there's. You can make that uh, as um, crude as you wish. Mm. Uh, C'est parti. C'est parti. So, which is misspelled, but I'll fix it for the website. Batonnage. I do not batonnage. know that. Un batonnage. I don't know what that is. Like uh, to be hit with sticks. Uh, sounds like Je a medieval torture. Je sais pas. Non. Je ne sais pas. Non, Je non comme si comme ça. Comme ça. Comme si comme ça. Oh, que c'est beau. Oh, que c'est beau. Oh, que c'est beau. <laughs> ben non, bonjour, un autre croissant au chocolat, s'il vous plaît. Okay, this one is wrong all kinds of way. Uh, there's spelling errors. And then we you do know, not no. have croissant au chocolat. Exactly. Okay. A croissant, yes. Pain au chocolat, yes. Which you really should say chocolatine if you have any sense. <laughs> Because. Don't pain... get involved in this one. This is really a north south <laughs> issue here. What you're talking about. But, I, I'm but, neutral on this one completely. Never say is croissant au chocolat. No, never. Okay, never. 
Je voudrais une bouteille de vin rouge. Euh, ben oui, moi aussi. Euh, <rire> une autre coupe de champagne, s'il vous plaît. Ah euh, euh, bah oui, pourquoi pas. Euh, oui, pourquoi pas. Euh, une coupe de champagne. Ouais, hein. bah. euh, C'est pas grave. C'est pas grave. Bon, mais très bien. Qu'est-ce qui se passe Qu'est-ce qui se passe Qu'est-ce qui se passe uh, These days, a lot of young people say quoi qui se passe. Quoi qui se passe But just for... We know it's wrong. Ah. Just it. yeah. Oh là 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 là. Oh, oh là, ouh là, là. Ouh là, ouh là, là là. là là. Americans think we French people say ouh là là all yeah. the time. No, we don't. Really, yeah. really we don't. But, And not only yeah. that, but I hardly ever hear that at all. No, we never say that. La France. La France. <laughs> okay. It's cute. Okay, It's I'm going to be I'm going to be a jerk and correct your French. C'est le français et la plus belle langue du monde. <laughs> Because it's a it's a masculine language. Yeah, because if français. you're gonna, I mean, if you're gonna say that word, say it right. Okay, yeah, you might as well. Yeah, me, yeah. Écarlate, Écarlate, which is a color, it's a yes. red, scarlet, scarlet. Yes, à tes souhaits. À tes souhaits. Uh, it's like uh, you sneeze. À tes souhaits. À bientôt. Mm -hmm. Je suis, suis d'accord. Okay, the next one made no sense to me. Mettez les œufs durs dans une boîte en fer pour qu'ils ne se fissurent pas. She's really stupid advice, <laughs> as well as a handful of a sentence. So apparently this person hand learned this handy phrase in one of her French classes in school. Okay. So there you go. Mettez les oeufs dans une boîte en fer pour qu'ils ne se fissurent pas. Okay. Non. Touche pas. Comme si, comme ça. Comme si, comme ça. That's it. Ma foi. Coucou. Moi aussi. Bonjour, madame. Coquelicot. Coquelicot, on l'a déjà dit en fait. J'ai soif. Voilà. Ouais, ouais, ouais. Oh, Vin. This is out of order. OK. Maybe. Vin. Un faux pas. Un faux pas. Appeler un chat un chat. Yeah. Do you know what that means? Yeah, it means call something by its name. Yeah, be, be frank. Be like, Appeler yeah. un chat un chat. Don't, yeah. don't beat around the bush. Yes. Vive la France. Où sont les toilettes ah, ça, c'est important. Où sont les toilettes? You have to know how to say that. Now, a lot of times, I mean, people do say that, but people also use WC. Où sont les WC? Yeah. yeah. Où sont les WC? Où sont les toilettes? À tout à l'heure. À tout à l'heure. See you later. J'adore. J'adore. Oui. Ça va, oui. On a fait ça déjà. Est-ce que je peux caresser votre chien? <laughs> And then he says, Oui, oui, ne dites pas, je peux péter votre animal. <laughs> What? I don't think it would have ever occurred to me. To What does that, that mean? To, it's like to pet. Ah, to pet. Okay. Je okay. peux péter oh, votre boy. animal. Okay. But, right. but in French, péter has a very different yes, meaning. Yes, exactly. You look it up. Okay. C'est incroyable. It's incredible. Yeah, je ne comprends pas. Alors, je vais chercher du bon vin à la cave. Okay. Hermès. Somebody likes to say Hermès. Okay. They're rich. J'accepte votre invitation à boire du vin ce soir. Mm -hmm. Vin rouge ou vin blanc, monsieur I, I'm starting to detect the theme here. Yeah. Uh, les vacances. Je crois que les vacances. Les vacances. Yeah, yeah, there's a spelling. Ah oui, there's a spelling error. Uh, yes, yes. yes. Magnifique. Magnifique. D'accord, merci. merci. À chacun son goût. I don't say that. No. Uh, Pas de problème. On dit à chacun sa merde, mais... <laughs> Pareil. Pas de problème. Sommelier. Sommelier. Ah, il faut cultiver notre jardin. You know where that's from, right? No. Ah, Voltaire. Voltaire. Ah. C'est la. It's the last sentence in um, Candide. Ah. Yeah. Hippopotame. Hippopotame. Un hippopotame. C'est la vie. We already said that. Hop là. Yeah. Voilà. Bienvenue, messieurs et dames. OK, that's wrong. You wrote it wrong. C'est bienvenue, mesdames et messieurs. Pourquoi Pourquoi Parce qu'on dit toujours Bonjour. les dames avant les messieurs. Voilà. Donc, quand on dit euh, c'est... Euh, euh, en, en anglais, on dit toujours Mr. and Mrs. Right. Right. En français, il est, il est plus euh, accepté de dire « Madame Sargent et Monsieur oui, Sargent okay? um, ». So this person loves the word « égayé ».« Égayé », c'est égayant, c'est gay, c'est gay. Yeah. Uh, « Égayé » is to make something happy, happy. bright. But it also, isn't it uh, to make something, in a sense, prettier too Yeah, no, to, I, just to brighten uh, things yeah, up. Yeah, to brighten, to brighten things up. up. Okay. Yeah, il faut égayer. C'est un peu tristouné, il faut égayer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, where was I? N'importe uh, quoi. N'importe quoi. Aujourd'hui, 
très gentil, enchanté, doucement, parlez très doucement, s'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. Vous plaît. Euh, le cas échéant. Le cas échéant. Joyeux Noël, un peu en avance quand même. Monstrueux, ils aiment le mot monstrueux. <rire> The next one is, you say it. <rire> well, les grenouilles grignotent les noix des écureuils. Yes, les grenouilles grignotent les noix des écureuils. Ok, that's weird. C'est bon. But I, but I bet that's just like a tongue twister. Yeah, it's gotta be a exactly twister. what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then somebody says, in my home Acadian village, we will say, qui est-ce que qui joue ce soir à la danse? When asking which band is playing music at the dance. Another village nearby will say, qui est-ce qui sonne ce soir? I have to say, neither of those are good French. <laughs> I would think that our, uh, Acadian is a different. It's not, it's it's not the same. French. Right. It's not the same as today's French. Right, exactly. So to me, it sounds right. wrong. Right. But if that's what you say, that's what you say. I think if that's what it is. It's like yeah. all these groups from way long ago, they just got stuck in, in time. Uh, yeah, in the <laughs> they kind of did, yeah. yeah. Oh, mon Dieu, c'est pas vrai. Ouais. Nom d'un chien. Nom d'un chien. Nom d'un chien. Mm. Ma petite chou. Okay, that's very, very wrong. C'est mon petit mon chou. Petit, yeah. Yeah. Mon petit chou. That's never feminine. S'il vous plaît, une autre bouteille oh, de vin. Oh, lots of wine circulating yeah, around yeah, yeah. here, I see. And boulangerie. Boulangerie. All right, now, I have to tell you a few insults that are funny in French. None of these are gross or offensive. Okay, in French, we have a lot of insults that, yes. are, that are just funny. Yeah, and, and it's funny because my husband keeps saying to me, why don't you tell me about insults in English? And except for really vulgar ones, I can't think of any. Yeah, you don't have funny insults in we English. We don't have funny insults. We have no. a lot of funny insults in French. Here's a few of them, okay. just to show you. Va te faire cuire un oeuf. Never heard of that. <laughs> Go cook yourself an egg. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. It's equivalent to put it where the sun don't shine. Huh? You've never heard that either? Jeez. Okay, va te faire cuire un oeuf. <laughs> bête comme ses pieds. I never say bête comme ses pieds. I say con comme ses pieds. Ah, uh, that I've heard. Yeah. That's being an idiot. As, as stupid as your feet. <laughs> Right. Uh, Pété plus haut que son cul. I don't, does that mean being pretentious? Yes. It means, okay. So you fart yeah. higher than you're, you're behind. behind. Mm -hmm. So you, It's very, very visual. <laughs> yes. Really. Yes. Yeah. Une poule mouillée. What is that? Une poule mouillée. It's, it's, a, it's a, somebody who's a chicken. Somebody who's afraid. Ah. So poule, it's a chicken, right? But it's a wet. A wet chicken. In French, it's a wet chicken. Poor that's, wet chicken. That's afraid. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ça coûte la peau des fesses. But that's not an insult. No, that's, this one's not an insult. It's just funny. I like it. It means it costs a lot. It costs an arm and a leg. But in French, it's not an arm and a leg. It's, it's your behind. It's the skin of your behind. Yeah. La Lots of things about your behind. Yes. Yeah. Va te faire voir. Ah. Go get yourself seen. Ah, there's no insult in this. Va te faire voir. She's shaking her head because if you add the, change one word, it becomes very vulgar. Yes, okay. yeah. yes. But I did not, did I? No. Yes. Okay. I, I, I gave you the, the mm, mild right. one. Il, but basically, <laughs> if you, you, it means uh, go away or I don't agree with you. Mm, it's stronger than that. If it's, well, va te faire voir means uh, just yeah, go away. Get, get, go out, away. get out of my go, face. Go get away. out of my face. Yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, aimable comme une porte de prison. I, no, I have never heard that one. <laughs> I mean, you know what it means, right? Uh, Elle est aimable comme une porte de prison. Wow. She's as friendly as a jail door. As a jail door. Yes. Wow. Yes. Gosh. Elle a un p de travers. <laughs> You'd never heard that one either. No. She, it means uh, she's uh, unwell. She. Ah. Oh. She. <laughs> un p de travers. It means that. Uh, That's terrible. It's, it's the image that's funny. It, that you, her farts are coming out wrong. Oh God! But what is it <laughs> in a sense? What is it used? For? She's unwell. She's, oh, she's not well. <laughs> if she's not well, her farts are coming oh, out wrong. God. Obviously. Really preoccupation with things like that. <laughs> yes, yes, very much so. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, de tes oh, okay, that means mind your own business. Yeah, yeah. Occupe-toi de tes oignons. Uh, the last two. Uh, il n'a pas la lumière allumée ah. à tous les étages. <laughs> not so bright. Yeah, not so bright. So that means, well, in English you have like, uh, 
the lights on, but dim, nobody's home. But dim is, 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 the dim witted. It's basically dim, yes. dim witted. So, uh, la, il n'y a pas de lumière allumée à, toutes les, à tous les étages. That means the light isn't on at all and the all, stairs. Right, exactly. You know, like, right. yeah. Et puis, il est con à manger du foie. So I assume that means pretty much the same thing. Yeah, it's an idiot. It's uh, somebody who's dumb enough, dumb enough to eat straw. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Con à manger du foie. Yeah. See, you, you got... Uh, don't say I never taught you any bad words. But these are bad words that you could say around your mother without being told well, off. They're if, not if, really that bad. If she's an American mother, she probably wouldn't know what they mean anyway. So it really yeah. doesn't matter too much. That's yeah. true. <laughs> but, uh, really. Thank you so much, Elise. Oh, we, you're we talked quite, so long. We talked too long again. Welcome. <laughs> you're quite welcome. I think I'm going to, just because I have to, because I like this... Poule mouillée. C'est une poule mouillée. C'est une poule mouillée. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Look, uh, th this week is election. You know, this this aye, aye, episode aye, aye, comes aye. out on Sunday. Aye, aye, aye. Election is on Tuesday. We needed to do something dummy. I wanted to do something light and silly for yeah. the occasion because I know stress is high in the U.S. And I understand. I You have my sympathies. And... Uh, Wait and see. And we, we know which side our bread is buttered on. So I, I, sh I just hope that uh, you can listen to these silly French words and have a giggle. And have a giggle. <laughs> Au revoir. Au revoir. Again, I want to thank my patrons for supporting the show and giving back. Patrons get several exclusive rewards for doing so. You can see them at patreon.com forward slash join us, P-A-T-R-E-O-N, join us, no spaces or dashes. Thank you to all of you for supporting the show. Some of you for many years now, you are wonderful. And a shout out this week to new patrons, Barbara Baker, Charlene Ploss, Sandy Copping, and Kathy Ryu. Ryu, I guess you say. Ryu. <laughs> Thank you so much for becoming patrons and making this podcast possible. And thank you, Jane Bauer, for switching to the yearly plan. It saved you some money and it's good to have you as a patron for a whole year. Sandy Coping, who uh, just became a patron for the year, wrote, Hi, Annie. I have listened to every single episode of your podcast, all 308. <laughs> Oh, wow. And it has been a joy. I listen when I can, cooking, cleaning, and gardening. I have visited many areas of France, Tours, Nice, Bordeaux, Lyon, Benac, Carcassonne, Les Beaux, Le Luberon, Provence, the Riviera, and the Loire Valley, and of course, Paris, one of my most favorite destinations in the world. With your guidance, I hope to visit more destinations in France, especially Toulouse, when travel opens up again. Keep up the amazing work and know that I appreciate the joy that you send to my little corner of the world, Vancouver, Canada. Thank you so much, Sandy. You and the other patrons make this possible, and I am stunned how many of you listen to every episode. Wow, congratulations. My thanks also to Grace Weiser for sending in a one-time donation by using the green button on any page on joinusinfrance.com that says, tip your guide. G Grace said, thank you for your podcast. It that entertains and educates. Well, that's the idea. Light conversations about France. Thank you. And if you'd like to support the show without spending a penny you wouldn't have otherwise, before you go shopping on Amazon, go to the bottom of any page on joinusinfrance.com and click on the Amazon ad. And if you have an ad blocker, you're not going to see the ad, obviously, so you have to turn off your ad blocker first. Because you came to Amazon through my site, I get a small commission and it doesn't cost you a penny more. And I'd love it if you would remember to do that when doing your holiday shopping this year, because we'll all be shopping online a lot more uh, with the pandemic this year. For my personal update this week, it's been a week on pins and needles for me, as well as for you, I suppose, I, sh I think, I can guess. Uh, but in the end, it worked out. It was clear to me that the numbers of new COVID cases meant something had to be done in France. Then they announced that Macron was going to speak, and he only does that when there's a big announcement. So that's why I was so nervous. So we're back to a modified version of the restrictions we had for eight weeks in the spring. 
All bars and restaurants, cafes are closed. Most stores are closed unless they sell food. But schools are open uh, below the university level and everything medical stays open, which wasn't the case before. Government offices will continue to receive the public by appointment. Banks are by appointment, but open. Uh, radio and TV people will continue to use studio equi equipment. All construction projects uh, can continue. So, you know, a, a lot more Things will continue to happen in France because we've learned uh, how to handle this. I set up Elise uh, with um, uh, stuff that she needs to record remotely, but I'll try to continue to go visit her and do it that way. The the you know the in person, it's way better because Elise has a lot of um, great qualities, but a techie she is not. <laughs> so. Uh, Anyway, parks, forests, uh, recreational areas like my walking path are staying open, and that's a huge relief. I modified my walk a little bit so I stay closer to home, but I can still do my 6K. Sometimes it takes, you know, a bit longer than an hour. We're not supposed to be out for longer than an hour, but the dogs have to sniff, you know, and I highly doubt that the cops will... Uh, the, the cops that work my village, they... they They're not going to stop me. They know me. They, I'm not, it's not, I'm a troublemaker. <laughs> um, it's a little harder for my husband because he's a cyclist and one kilometer range for a cyclist is like ludicrous, but he's figured out a path that he's pretty sure he won't run into any law enforcement because they have better things to do than surveil country paths. You know what I mean? So we'll wait and see, but it's, uh, it's kind of, Spring restrictions, but lighter, which is good. Uh, it was really funny to see how many people rushed out to do the things they knew were going to be prohibited soon. <laughs> My husband did a longer bike ride. The lines in front of hairdressers and restaurants were huge. Uh, I heard shots ring out quite a bit uh, because the hunters, they just had to go out and, uh, you know... To go hunt for one more time before they're stuck at home for a month. Well, it's at least for a month. We'll see. Uh, anyway, it was a nice sunny day. People were out in force. I tried to resist the temptation to go out and stock up on some items, but I failed. <laughs> I went anyway. <laughs> It's silly because stores aren't going to close. We're not going to run out of anything. By now, we all know how to do you know, online shopping. Uh, I already got an email from my nearby store where they said, oh, we've added staff to, uh, to, the, um, to the delivery stuff. Anyway, we're going to be fine. Our daughter is still isn't sure if her classes are going to be 100% virtual. Uh, we'll know more on Monday. Um, so. But for now, she's home with us, so that's good. Of course, those restrictions are not pleasant, uh, but it's good in a way that we know a lot more about this virus than we knew in March, uh, where it was truly scary. Uh, now we have masks, we have hand gel, we, you know, everybody knows to keep their distances. I think it's going to be okay. Obviously, bars, restaurants, nightclubs, uh, you know, all these places that had to close because it's just too easy to get infected under those conditions. But the uncertainty is what is really getting to most of us, I think. Macron said the goal is to get under 5,000 new cases per day, and then life can go back to almost normal and they'll remove those restrictions that we're now under. Not that we want 5,000 cases per day, but that's the threshold underneath which our healthcare system can handle it. And when I was talking to Elise, I said uh, that we have 6,000 ICU beds in France, and that was true. But last year, by now, I've heard in the meantime that we have 9,000, and they're trying to increase that number But, you know, it takes time to train, to recruit. I mean, these are highly specialized medical people. It, it, you know, it takes time. And they're doing an insane number of tests in France, uh, 1.9 million per week now. And even with all those tests, they estimate that they might be missing as many as half of the new cases. 
So in a way, it's good that we don't have Halloween. Well, we do have Halloween, but it's always minor, and this time it won't happen at all. Um, we don't have we don't do Thanksgiving, obviously. That's an American thing. So it gives us more time to get the numbers down before Christmas. I normally throw a big uh, Thanksgiving party for my French family and for friends, American friends. But this year, I'm not doing that. So, yeah, it's kind of sad, but what are you going to do? So I mentioned last week that we might take a day trip to pretty villages in the Tarn and Tarn et Garonne. And we did it. And I'm so glad we did it. We went to Castelnau de Montmiral, puis celle-ci, uh, Bruniquel and Penn. We went on Wednesday, right? Thursday, Wednesday night, they announced uh, restrictions. Thursday, we could, we could have still gone on Thursday, but then by Friday... No more. <laughs> so it was very good that we did it when we could. Uh, we so we took a, the, the trip was like a three hour round trip from my from my house. We stopped at four gorgeous villages. We walked around the medieval streets. Took a lot of photos. We didn't slip and fall not once, even though it was slippery and steep at times. Um, I took a lot of photos. Uh, it was it was just fun, you know. We didn't take the dogs on this adventure. They went to the dog sitter for the day. So that made our life easy. But we found a lot of friendly cats. They followed us around in the villages. It's very cute. In the villages, I think the cats, they're so used to seeing tourists all the time. And they're not seeing a lot of tourists these days. And so they, they just come out and see who's there. You know, <laughs> They're very cute. I posted photos on Instagram and Facebook stories. But, uh, you know, I'll do an episode about those places Um because they were really fun, and I bought some little books for the local history and st stuff like that. So um, it'll be fun to do an episode about those with uh, with Elise. And I've mentioned several times on the podcast that in rural France, it's best to take a picnic with you because you never know what you'll find. And that's the only minor problem that we ran into. You know, I had brought drinks, but not food. And the restaurants were, most of the restaurants were closed. So we couldn't find a place to eat. There was one place that was open, but they were full. So we had to get in our car and drive about 15 kilometers to the nearby village. Well, no, a bigger city. Um, and uh, and we had lunch at a thing called Marie Blachère. It's a bakery. It's like Paul, you know, that you're probably familiar with. Um, but it's, it's casual. It's cheap. They have a few tables. They have a bathroom. It was perfect. It was fine. Um, anyway, it was a wonderful day, and I'm glad we got out while we could. The weather was pretty good, and the weather today and this week is going to be glorious. We, we have mostly sun and, uh, you know, a little bit of fog in the morning, but sunny days, cool temperatures, but just gorgeous. About the Join Us in France cookbook, I'm on track to release uh, the ebook before November 15th as planned. Uh, when I'm done with that, I will uh, rework Patreon rewards, uh, do a little bit of website reorganization because I want to add some stuff to joinusinfrance.com. And I'm already working on a new set of recipes for a second book because, you know, 30 recipes is not enough. I, but I, I think it's better to release the first 30 to have a manageable cookbook to work through than these cookbooks that are thousands of recipes. They're, you know, you, you have no idea where to start. They're overwhelming. Mine isn't going to be overwhelming. You can just go from from the beginning and try them all and you're done in a month. <laughs> so it's it's fun. And I ordered some stickers uh, with the show logo to go along with the merch, which you can see on joinusinfrance.com forward slash merch. And um, so the, the st I, I don't have the stickers yet. I'll, I'll probably, I think... If you're a new patron and you gave me your address, I will probably wait until the, I get the stickers so I can send you a postcard and some stickers. And I'll save the stickers to 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 thank people who are who do nice things for me. And there's a bunch of them, so I'll, I'll need stickers. <laughs> All right, I better get out of here because I've talked too long and this show is getting very long. So at this point, I don't know if it, any of you are still listening. <laughs> But I want to send out wishes of an uneventful election week in the U.S. May things proceed civilly and without violence. And I cannot believe that it's come to that. But unfortunately, violence is not 
entirely out of the question uh, this this time. So vote and stay safe. And uh, I'm I'm with you in spirit. If you enjoy the show, introduce a friend to the podcast and show them how to listen. And next week on the podcast, it'll be the anniversary of the end of World War I. So I'll bring you an episode with a brief history of the Spanish flu that I recorded with Elise. And I'll add a book review for a biography that I just finished about an American soldier who became of, uh, who came to France to to be in the Foreign Legion, and he was an outstanding World War I soldier. So I want to tell you a little bit about him. Send questions or feedback to Annie at joinusinfrance.com. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you join me next time so we can look around France together. Au revoir. The Join Us in France Travel Podcast is written and produced by Annie Sargent and copyright 2020 by Addicted to France. It is released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives license. Mm-hmm.